Here we can see that this output has been added to the drop down menus. of the audio tracks. Effects channel tracks are special tracks for handling audio plug-in effects. Like audio or MIDI tracks, there's a slice for this on the mixer panel. You can send the audio to the effects channel by using the Sends tab of Audio Tracks. Choose the appropriate FX channel track from the drop down menu and by dragging the Send Level slider, you can determine how much of the signal has been routed to the effects channel. You can also add one video track per project. The ruler track is available in Cubase SX only. This allows you to display timelines in different formats, such as bars and beats, seconds, samples, etc. The play order track comes with Cubase SL and SX only, and it does exactly what you might think it does. It lets you create playlists from segments of your project, and then select the order in which you want to play them. Only one play order track can be created in each project. And finally, we have the marker track. Marker tracks are used to manage markers in a project. Only one marker track can be added to a project. You can resize the tracks window as well as the tracks themselves. In the right corner of the tracks list header bar, there are two buttons. This one divides the track list into two sections. Now you can toggle tracks between the two sections. Right click, then select Toggle Track List. The second button here allows you to color code tracks. The corresponding channels in the mixer in the same colors as well. And this makes your project window more visually comfortable. You can also customize your tracks here in the Track Controls setting window. Remover Add Controls. Move controls up or down. Group controls so they stay together. Choose your controls. And then click group or ungroup to move between the tracks. Use the drop down menu on top. These buttons let you add or remove presets. And this concludes our segment on how to add tracks.